Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Diana Liverman, and I co-direct the Institute of the Environment. And I'm really here just to welcome you to the building, um, which is the new home of the Agnes Nelm Towery Program in Environment and Social Justice. So I know some of you actually have offices in the building, but for many of you, it's your first time over here. So there's some reasons why this is a really great home for the program. Um, partly because it's sharing the space with other programs that are very committed to environment and social justice, um, including the School of Geography and Development, the School of Natural Resources and the Environment, and we have mathematics, so we've got to figure out how to get... Well, they're interested in social justice because they want STEM education for all, so they also have that connection. And then the Institute for Environment with the Howry program is up on the fifth floor. As I think, um, I hope you noticed when you came into the building, um, it has an absolutely outstanding design, but the design is, um, has sustainability features. So the fact that it has this central courtyard east-west helps to cool the building and to use less energy. Um, many of the facilities, like the bathrooms and the classrooms, um, are out on the balconies, which means we save energy because people walk outside rather than have to be in air-conditioned corridors. There's a 55,000 gallon water harvesting tank under the building, and if you would have been here on Monday, we were all absolutely transfixed. We were just standing there looking at the waterfalls that come down on the interior of the courtyard and go into the tank and are then used for irrigation. There are several other features I'll just mention briefly. The air conditioning system is very innovative. It's something called chilled beam, which uses a lot less um, energy. And also in most rooms, there would be air conditioning from the ceiling. In the rooms where there is um, air conditioning, it's in the floor, which saves a lot of energy. So we've got um, a lot of energy saving features. The carpet is um, uh, from um, a very well-known company, um, Interface, that um, uses all sustainable materials. So it's really um, a great building for us to be in. There's a lot of space that is available for events like this, including a lecture theater that we're still waiting. We know we're going to get permission um, to actually name in honor of Agnes Nelsari, um, who has um, supported this program um, after she has left us. Um, so we're hoping we'll probably have another event as soon as we get the okay to um, open up the lecture theater and formally name it after her. I guess um, one of the reasons that um, I'm doing the introduction is not just that I'm in the building, I'm one of the people at the university who's been working with the Howry trustees represented by Mary Greer here for a year. It's a year since we announced the program and I want to acknowledge the other members of that group that's here, JP Jones, Dean of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Mark Miller, Dean of Law, Joaquin Ruiz, Dean of Sciences, and Imam Hakim, Dean of the Enid, and I'm going to forget, Zuckerman School of Public Health. Um, I don't think, I think that's everybody who's here. And it's been great uh, working with them, and particularly with Mary, to try and make the program work. And this is going to be, for me, the second big highlight of the year. The thing that was most meaningful for me with the Howring program over the last year was when we had Mary Robinson um, come um, in the spring. And it was such an amazing opportunity, and I know a number of you were inspired by her and her work on human rights. And I was very, very grateful that the Howry program allowed us to bring her to campus.